Right, for the other data, I'd recommend that you go through your phase one and see if you can find some kind of connection to your phase two and look for some statistics. So at the moment, the only one I could find so far is an average of 15 to 30 percent increase in electrical bills because employees are at home all day. Now, unfortunately, I don't have people's salaries. Otherwise, I could actually compare if if this is indeed 15 to 30 percent of the salary, um, you know, increase if there's that, that much of an increase. But at the moment, I don't have that. So I need to actually go and look for something else. What you could do is you could also look through your original sources and see if you could find anything else. But I had a look and unfortunately, I couldn't find anything. So what you do in that case is you go and look online for something that links to your phase two questions, preferably, and has some kind of um, connection, obviously, to your research and has statistics. It doesn't have to be a massive table or something. If you find something like that, it'll be fantastic. But something short like this is also completely fine. So here, what I've got is they say how much rem remote workers, they actually give an amount, a monthly increase, They're specifically on the energy bills. Now, we didn't ask that in our questionnaire, but we can actually compare the amount of increase because they said given dollars, we can then compare how much that is in rand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to put it in my in my spreadsheet. I'm going to say from and paste it in there. Now, this is an extremely long URL because it's actually referring to the bookmark. Do you see hashtag that refers to a target area on a page. So the target area is this specific place, the cost of remote work. So what you could do is you could either use this entire link and put a hyperlink in to, to the shorter URL, or if you want, you can just shorten this and take that out. Okay. Now I'm going to put the statistics. Now they said over here, 40 to 50 monthly increase, and that's in dollar. So I'm just going to make it 45. And now I'll go work out the average in of my respondents and see how much their average increase was. And then lastly, what I'll do is I will convert this amount in dollar into Rand. So let me insert a row and I'll actually convert this into Rand. Right, and now we can just subtract these two amounts and draw a conclusion from there. All right, remember to put it in perspective. Um, you'll probably put your uh, conclusion in some kind of merged cell. Put it in perspective in the sense of what data you had for the overseas information and what data you had for your own respondents, especially if they differ a little bit. And don't forget to format it the same as the rest of your spreadsheet. Now we have this one extra mark for analysis that includes relevant, appropriate data other than the respondents from the survey.